All right, so here I have my Twisted Boutique bow. I've used 7 8 inch width ribbon, and this is a Brilliant Bow Maker snap template, and I would highly suggest these, but I'm gonna go over the whole kit in a different video. So, I start from the left side, but starting from the right side will work too. And I just go down from the top, right along the edge of this space here. And I pull it through. And then I cut the excess on my thread. So what you're going to do is find the center of your ribbon in this space here. And you're going to move, move your needle over to the left of the middle. You bring it up. Now find your center again. And you take your needle and you move it over to the right of your center. Okay. Now your last stitch is just going to be right along the edge at the end of the space here. Just like that. Okay, now I just unsnap it. Remove the template. And here you have your Twisted Boutique Bow. Now I just take the string and I pull it while pulling the ribbon towards me to get my first hump here. And then I push with these my thumb and my pointer finger to get my second. And I'm able to just hold it like this now while I'm pulling tight on the ribbon here. And I just grab it and you've got your, your creases here. And I look here and here, when I push them together, they should be even, like that. And then I just wrap the thread around the center, pulling tight every so often. And I'm just gonna tie off in the back. Cut the excess off. And now this is what it looks like. And you just start flipping it up. And you have pretty much a perfect twisted boutique bow. Look at that. That is amazing. I love making twisted boutique bows. Like flipping the loops up like that is my favorite part. Like just seeing this gorgeous bow right here. I just, oh my goodness. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. I know I have a lot of tutorials on how to make Twisted Boutique bows with different methods, using a template, freehanding. And I have a previous, tutorial. my previous tutorial is how I hand crease the center. And I figured I would throw up a video on how I sew my center, just so you guys have some options. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.